Commander Shepard. I didn't realize you were coming too. Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. Attention, the Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Quickly, quickly. Cue the backdrop. Roll cameras. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. So are you guys just making this up, or what? Of course not. A writer wrote it, so it must be true. Ah, you die now! Not yet. That line comes later. The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Salarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Salarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle. Your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Oh, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. You know what, Blasto? I think you're just a big, stupid jellyfish. How did you become a Spectre? I am not just a Spectre. I am an Ultra Spectre Elite 7000 Deluxe, now with less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Look! It's Sovereign Half Brother Sluggard! And he's looking for some payback. Cue the stunt double! Your line. Oh, you'll die now. Oh no, the Vorcha Counselor is indoctrinated. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. Tell casting we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Valiant 
enthusiastic. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. There is no other way my dad will fall in love. <laughs> Good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you all for your loyalty and support. Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? She'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Garrus, you know my eggs. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Wanna join? I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? 1085, 1086, 1087. Shepard? Hey. You look like shit. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Even normal biotics get hangovers. But I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance. Pressure balls on 
Vesia. This nightmare never ends. The hell it won't. We get to this artifact and we can all wake up. Drinks will be on me. It's been so damn long in coming. That's close enough. Both of you. Kai Lang didn't finish the job, but I will. This ends here. On the contrary. Now that the Reapers are taken care of, we have a way out. Let her go. Shepard, don't let him take her. Shepard, please. You try to leave with her. You die. Let her go, and maybe you walk. I've done nothing to you. This isn't about you and me. Let her go and walk away. I won't say it again. All right. Take her. <clears throat> but I want out alive. Deal? <sighs> no deal. Listen to me. Listen. I wanted you to have a normal life. Marriage. Children. Things I could never have. He told me all about you. Thank you for saving me. You deserve a life, Oriana. Be good. Before Kai Leng left, I planted a trace on him. A trace? You thought of everything. Not everything. Nobody's perfect. But at least Ori is safe. I've never met anyone like you, Miranda. No. You haven't. I'll keep your sister safe. Good. I just wish I could have. Miranda? Miranda? Let's make sure everybody knows about this place. Communication scrambler disabled. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility Come run on, by my father, Henry Lawson. Let's get you out of here.
What do you say we blow this joint? I've got this big gun back at my place. I'd like to show you. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and I should probably just go do it. Hey, Shepard. I see you got things cleaned up. Eventually. Yeah, sorry about that. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. I noticed you don't really have anyone. Is that a question? I just... I haven't been in a real relationship since I joined the military. Bad combination, you know? Just wondering what you thought about that. Why are you still alone? Like you said, military and relationships don't mix. It makes things too complicated. That's for sure. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? It's a lot of responsibility, and you haven't passed the test yet. I know, and I heard every word you said. I'm 100% committed to this. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shall I and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that. Did. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight.
crew is waiting. Cerberus ships have some upgrades that outclass Alliance specs. The Normandy's the most advanced ship in the galaxy. Go do some damage. Got it. And Shepard, tell Edie to kick some ass. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Sorry, fleet's reporting. Warrior fleet's accounted for and ready. Geth fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Ready on my signal. Fire's on! 
This war has brought you here today. It will define each of you. You may be a brother to someone, a daughter, a son, but today you're a soldier. The Reapers gave you a purpose, and you accepted the challenge. You all chose to be here. Each of you chose to stand and fight. One way or another, this war ends today. There will be no second chances and no room for mistakes. Each of you needs to be willing to die to win the day. Anything less, and you're already dead. Expect no mercy, show no mercy. You fight, or you die. Don't argue, Garrus. We're in this to the end. You're in no condition to keep fighting. Get to the med bay. You can't do this solo. That's I an can't. order, Garrus. Go! Synthetics. So you're just an AI. 
In as much as you are just an animal, I embody the collective intelligence of all Reapers. But you were created. Correct. By who? By ones who recognized that conflict would always arise between synthetics and organics. I was first created to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life, to establish a connection. But our efforts always ended in conflict, so a new solution was required. The Reapers? Precisely. throughout the galaxy. It is crude, but effective and adaptive in its design. Who designed it? You would not know them, and there is not enough time to explain. We first noted the concept for this device several cycles ago. With each passing cycle, the design has no doubt evolved. Why didn't you stop it? We believe the concept had been eradicated. Clearly, organics are more resourceful than we realized. Where did the Reapers come from? Did you create them? My creators gave them form. I gave them function. They, in turn, gave me purpose. The Reapers are a synthetic representation of my creators. Five? Yes. They created me to oversee the relations between synthetic and organic life to establish a connection. They became the first true Reaper. They did not approve, but it was the only solution. You said that before, but how do the Reapers solve anything? Organics create synthetics to improve their own existence, but those improvements have limits. To exceed those limits, synthetics must be allowed to evolve. They must, by definition, surpass their creators. The result is conflict, destruction, chaos. It is inevitable. Reapers harvest all life, organic and synthetic, preserving them before they are forever lost to this conflict. We're at war with the Reapers right now. You may be in conflict with the Reapers, but they are not interested in war. I find that hard to believe. When fire burns, is it at war? Is it in conflict, or is it simply doing what it was created to do? We are no different. We harvest your bodies, your knowledge, your creations. We preserve it to be reborn in the form of a new reaper. Like a cleansing fire, we restore balance. New life, both organic and synthetic, can once again flourish. The defining characteristic of organic life is that we think for ourselves. Make our own choices. You take that away, and we might as well be machines, just like you. You have choice, more than you know. The fact that you are standing here, the first organic ever, proves it. But it also proves my solution won't work anymore. So now what? We find a new solution. Why are you telling me this? Why help me? You have altered the variables. What do you mean? The crucible changed me, created new possibilities, but I can't make them happen. If there is to be a new solution, you must act. It is now in your power to destroy us. Targeted. Even you are partly synthetic. What exactly will happen? Your crucible device appears to be largely intact. However, the effects of the blast will not be constrained to the Reapers. 
technology you rely on will be affected, but those who survive should have little difficulty repairing the damage. There will still be losses, but no more than what has already been lost. I made it this far. We'll destroy you without setting it off. Impossible. You are vastly outnumbered. You have sacrificed many of your resources just to reach this point. If you do not use the Crucible, the Reapers will not be stopped, and the cycle will continue. I don't believe you. Your belief is not required. There has to be another way. There is. You could instead use the energy of the Crucible to seize control of the Reapers. So... The elusive man was right after all. Yes, but he could never have taken control. Because we already controlled him. But I can. You will die. You will control us, but you will lose everything you have. How can I control the Reapers if I'm dead? Your corporeal form will be dissolved, but your thoughts and even your memories will continue. Your connection to your kind will be lost, though you will remain aware of their existence. I didn't fight this war so I could give up everything I have. And I do not look forward to being replaced by you, but... I would be forced to accept it. Not if I refuse to do it. There is another solution. Synthesis. And that is? Add your energy to the crucibles. The chain reaction will combine all synthetic and organic life into a new framework. A new DNA. Explain how my energy can be added to the Crucible. There is little time left, but I will try. Your organic energy, the essence of who and what you are, will be broken down and then dispersed. To do what, exactly? The energy of the Crucible, released in this way, will alter the matrix of all organic life in the galaxy. Organics seek perfection through technology. Synthetics seek perfection through understanding. Organics will be perfected by integrating fully with synthetic technology. Synthetics, in turn, will finally have full understanding of organics. It is the ideal solution. Now that we know it is possible, it is inevitable we will reach synthesis. Why couldn't you do it sooner? We have tried a similar solution in the past, but it has always failed. Why? Because the organics are not ready. It is not something that can be forced. You are ready, and you may choose it. I... don't know. Why not? Synthetics are already part of you. Can you imagine your life without them? That's beside the point. Your time is at an end. You must decide. Let's get this over with. Do what you must.
Disengage and get the hell out of here. There is no choice. We must go. Now. Damn it.
can rebuild everything that was destroyed. Did that all really happen? Yes, but some of the details have been lost in time. It all happened so very long ago. When can I go to the stars? One day, my sweet. What will be there? Anything you can imagine. Our galaxy has billions of stars. Each of those stars could have many worlds. Every world could be home to a different form of life. And every life is a special story of its own. Tell me another story about the shepherd. It's getting late, but okay. One more story. <laughs> 